My name is. Okay. Hyo Eun. Oh, Hyo Eun. Hyo Eun. Hyo Eun. And I'm a freshman from South Korea. And this is my day at Minerva University. First stop, welcome to my room. I live in Minerva's Rest Hall in downtown San Francisco and share this place with a lovely Filipino and Chinese roommate. And unsurprisingly, it did not take us longer than a week to call this place our home and each other a family. At Minerva, there's really no typical day for everyone. Your daily schedule really depends on what class you're taking and which city you live in. But my morning normally starts at 7 a.m. at a nearby cafe with a cup of iced Americano, meditating on Bible verses. Afterwards, I begin my pre-class work for my first class called NS50 Empirical Analyses in the morning so I can best engage with learning materials and get ready for class discussions. Once I'm done with a bit of work, I like to explore San Francisco with a new friend because the city has so much to offer and the Minerva community is so diverse. Ever since I've arrived in the city, I've been blessed with so much amazing food from different cultures and there are so many great memories that I had with friends around the city. One thing I like about Minerva is its close-knit community. Oftentimes, a single picture taking can become a super fun group activity as we explore the city together. Today, I've decided to check out a local park and grab some bagels to join my friend Grigory from Armenia to chill and catch up with each other. As we lose track of time, my roommate begins to call and ask, what should we cook for lunch? And that's my cue to go home. I head to the kitchen basement and to the walk-in fridge because Minerva does not have a school cafeteria. But this is a good thing because this way, we get to be a little more independent and also share our favorite dishes from back home. Two of Minerva's students' favorite dishes to cook are pasta and salad. And it's partially because it is easy and quick to make, but also because San Francisco is a great place to get fresh vegetables and fruits. Other times we crave for food from back home, we cook and share them with each other. Coming here, I got to taste some of the dishes I've never even heard of in my lifetime. And of course, once we're done cooking, different rooms take turns keeping the kitchen clean. When each person brings one dish to the table, it becomes an indoor picnic. And when one person cooks for the others, they get a real taste of that culture. And occasionally, people knock on each other's doors to present them a special surprise. Oh my god, hey, I just want to bring some rare bean porridge for you to celebrate my birthday. Yay! Yay. Uh, bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. After lunch, I make sure to start reviewing my notes and get into class. Compared to a traditional university, all classes at Minerva are conducted in small seminars in our virtual learning environment known as Forum. And instead of passive lectures, Minerva students learn through active discussions, debates, and collaborative works on a daily basis. Since the entire city is our campus, I like to take classes at a cafe, the library, or a nearby co-working space. Today, in multimodal communications class, we learned about how to effectively deliver our oral communications. Active participation in class itself is a good practice for this particular skill, but we also discussed how we can best convey information and resonate with targeted audience of diverse backgrounds in the lens of public speaking. Readers are naturally drawn to what she's saying. Plus is when we go out and explore the city. Today, my roommate Cass from the Philippines and I rode the zero emissions Muni bus to Union Square to see the Christmas tree. The transportation in San Francisco is also very convenient, so our other roommate Edwina from China joined us halfway to see the sunset at Embarcadero afterwards. As a Minerva student, including San Francisco, I will be traveling to seven cities around the world throughout my four years in college. To share some of my memories of the diverse activities that I took part this semester, there is the Civic Project. 
The civic project is an opportunity that allows us to build up practical experiences in a variety of professional contexts by working with Minerva City partners from diverse sectors and industries. And here we are at our first civic project meeting where my group discussed the research question and started brainstorming on how to best engage with our civic partner who is a global architectural firm designer. On some weekends, Minerva students also like to travel around famous tourist spots in the city together to have some fun. Hi. But of course, what all Minervans look forward to the most are the Minerva Talks in 1001s happening every Sunday at 10 p.m. Whether it is the 1001s where students from Bulgaria and Nigeria who perform their traditional dances, or the Minerva Talks where appear from Romania who shared his experiences with filmmaking, these traditions are great opportunities for us to embrace the cultural and intellectual perspectives that each Minervan brings to the community and just get to know each other better. Recently, we also went to a Friendsgiving feast that happens once in every semester and broke the bread, which is a tradition at Minerva to celebrate that we are all individually unique pieces. We also watched super fun performances by classmates and celebrated Friendsgiving together. Looking back at the semester so far, each day has been so special here at Minerva. So I hope you've enjoyed spending a day with me here at Minerva and stay tuned for my upcoming video as I travel to Seoul next semester. Good night!